Hello. Hello. Hello, Mr. Booth. All oh, right, these uh, are nice. We're not doing the uh, intro because this is going to be a piece of another You're show. You're just going to roll right in. We uh, we have started rolling. We're officially on. But, I mean, you can you well, I can start it whenever you yeah, want. I thought you were going to do the whole welcome to the show, blah, blah, blah. But that's cool. We, we, no, we usually uh, put the specials on the end. Yeah, that that's, way they got to watch the whole show. Is, so so we're nice. actually in show right yes, now. Right like, now. We're this in situation. Moment. This very moment. This right very now. moment. We're <laughs> like, it just... It just happened. It like, just there was started, nothing, yeah. there was no... Because this is going to be like a special. Yes. yes. Like an after-school special. It's like, ooh, okay. bonus round. Okay. Yeah, you bonus know? bonus show. There you go, okay. bonus show. Bonus show. Little, it's like you, if you want the booth, you must come all the way to the end for the booth. Travel down the road. All the way. Because we've disabled the fast-forward. We've disabled... <laughs> we've disabled... No fast-forwarding. And no pausing. No pausing. That's right. That's disabled. You have to sit the whole time. It's an eight-hour show. To watch the whole... Oh, wow. Very long. I mean, I'll do it. If we, you want to go eight hours, at, I'll do it. At that point, we determine who is really devoted. You know, what? we should do Damn. a like a telethon type show. Not we're going to get money for other uh, people, but, we're but where we just do no, see how long save we go. The just children. Whoop, do a long show. No, we can get money. That's fine. Save the we, hustler. Also get yeah. money. Oh, it's, please save the hustler. Save the hustler. Send so, money. Send your cards and letters. It, uh, what was it? Save the empire. What was it? Uh, save empire, the empire Records. Oh yeah, yeah. Screw the man. Save I the don't empire. recall. It's a movie, right? You don't to save. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Ah, I'm so tempted by this microphone. It, it like it's nice. Ooh, it, your your voice it, sounds very it creates boomy. this entire yes. this is, reverberation this is, situation in my. Ooh, yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. If that mic's too low, you can so, drop your chair low. Seems like you're having to lean down. I, I think, to, if, no, I think that makes it worse. Huh? Huh? Like That's that. more frontal That's now. Okay. I like. Yeah, that. I, I like kind of like that. Okay. Right. Okay. You looked uncomfortable. But do I look shorter to you now? Like uh, in contrast. Like he's the superior yeah, being. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. but that was on purpose. Yeah, yeah, do you see what he does? That was on purpose. Do you, do you, little, you see how he does? Do you see how he does? There you go. There, yeah, that's you see what he does? Now you have two arms. Oh. It looks much better. Oh, that's yes. Nice. I'm well aware of his mind fuckery. Michael, yours is a little high, too. If you could drop yours just a little smidge, too, that'd be no, nice. Thank I, you very much. No. You're my no. booster. I just got God on this show. I'll set up That's why we call him BDP. Hey, so. We're sitting here with Matt Booth. We're sitting here with Matt Booth. Room 101 Cigars. And room one hundred and one, room one hundred and one jewelry. Gin. He's just, you know, he's trying to he's take over everywhere. a little bit of everything. Anyway. Trying to make it, it happen. This is an ashtray. You can this is, ash into that. This is uh, this is an original room one hundred and one uh, Matt Booth ashtray right, ashtray. right here. I, I it's no, right there. Look at the skull. It's uh, it's. Oh, I'm saying yes. when you when it's time. Oh, oh it's, it's a skull. It's yeah, an, room one hundred and one. It's a skull. Original artifact. Yeah, there we go. It's one of your first pieces. Thank you very much. for you you can rest your little cigar right there when you need to. Honestly, it's my it's my honor that you would have this on the table here. Of course, no question. I like this too, man. This yeah. is fabricated. This is very nice. It is. Uh, it's from Uncle it's, Skip. That is, yeah. yeah that's. Um, you could also subdue an intru. Oh, see. Oh, jeez. I think that that's Wicked Anvil. Yes. I, yeah, it should yeah. be. I yeah. think that's who he rolls with with the. So right. we have to talk Metallica. about. We have to talk about the we the bang abandonment. We yeah, haven't, I, we haven't I'm the what? I'm on pins you're, and needles. You're floored here. Oh, yeah, well, I, I'm very curious. Yes. What's the so, on your glass for? I have so I, oh I'm sorry I'm jumping ahead of you yes, I don't yes, want to cut yes, you off and exactly, piss everybody exactly. off again exactly you know the rules oh my, my god. god you know the rules you and your whiny and ass don't, people don't be silly oh it is very hot in here today too it's all the lights it's because so, Mr. Booth is here it's my pheromone game so here's the deal the ghost yeah the ghost mm. the flavor mm. amazing okay amazing okay tell me tell and, me and it says tropical mango it's right. not. I don't know what it is. It's not tropical. It's just they put the mystery like, mango. What do you want to call it? I don't know. Put this on here. Yeah, this yeah. sounds nice. We yes. have orange cans. Make so, it something orange. So there's this thing called L carnitine that's in here. Okay. And right. L carnitine is a great source for the, so theoretically speaking. It's, it's a small kind city of, in Mexico where they it, have really good burritos. There isn't a ton of research about it, but it is believed. <laughs> See, he appreciates me. <laughs> it is believed that carnitine will actually help the body burn fat. Right mm. now, but there's a whole loading process involved, and there's a whole it's, fucking thing. It's hot in here. It is hot. It is very, it's very hot. Greg turned up the it's air. A bit of a sauna mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we get Greg to turn down the air for us. But now, so, but but the bang, if I might remind you, has the creatine. Cock ten. Yes. Oh yes, the cock ten. The cock ten. Cock ten. And does this have cock ten? Uh, uh, I mean, we are we 11. getting off the, cock eleven? It's cock twelve. <gasps> Who twelve? Yo, wow. <laughs> it's really up there. Show. Sure. But you don't know it. So it's the a ghost. the ghost is now we're on the ghost we're off the bank uh, effectively. And it, and it's been this way for a little while. Why, why didn't you tell me? Were you waiting to spring this on me? I, I don't mean, you know. I don't know. It's it like kind of happened gradually. We yeah, have a few bangs left. Yes, the bangs still exist. Yeah, just not here. Just less of them. You know what okay. happened? I'll tell you what happened. You can tell, tell the truth. 
the sales guys fucked us. Oh. They stopped coming in. Stopped coming yeah. in. We weren't buying enough. It's like, hey, you know, you know what happened? I fell in love with the fucking the coffee one. The keto. Oh, okay. yeah, oh yeah. the keto yeah. coffee. Because it was like a protein source and it was tasty. And I really liked it. Mm. And like I kept asking, like, hey, I'll buy 30 cases. I'll buy 40 cases. I'll buy, you know, it's not going to go to waste. What, you know, we don't have that. We don't have it. We don't have it. Then they stopped answering my calls. And I'm like, hey, Whoa. Well, then I still they, need then they the other stuff. Guy. Yeah. Oh, now this person's no longer here. This one has COVID, all these other things. Here's your temporary guy. And then, then we can't get all the And then you're like, but I go to the gas station. They have the, right, the, the bang is here. The, right. It's there, but, right. Not, right. but it's not here. It's not, not here. It's not there as much here. as it used to be. Yeah, well, you know, they might have pulled fell the, off. Yeah, it kind of fell off. It it ran its course. It's not as popular anymore. Yeah. So, so now we are ghosting. Understood. So then the the Budweiser rep, okay, he was supporting this. He said you should give this a try. And yeah, we just got this. You guys will like it. So you know, it has cock twelve. In well, it. he started with G Fuel. Oh, okay. that's right. Right. Mm. And then he says, um, I have no idea what G Fuel is. I'm like, mm. okay, whatever. He goes, to ask your kids about G Fuel. I go, bro, uh, one six and one's eight. I'm like, okay. So I take, I go home and I say, hey. Hey guys, have you ever heard of a thing called G Fuel? And they they, they kind of look at each other and they look at me like, yeah. What do you know about G Fuel? <laughs> what do you know, Dad? Are you getting us G Fuel? I'm like, no, I'm not getting you fucking G Fuel. <laughs> Is you that mind? right? Yeah. 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 Go ask your kid. Just yeah. sl- smooth move. Yeah. Sales guy. Yeah. yeah Drop the fucking bomb on me. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I'll take the G Fuel. Yeah. And then that parlayed into the ghost. And now fuck the G Fuel. I'm all about the ghost. Okay. So I have this fancy little post on your glass here, and I'm going to pour a little. You are my, like we did the tequila, right? We did tequila yeah, with we him. did. Oh, did you do tequila last time? So you're the taster. No, no. Yeah. Oh. Last time he was we on did. the show. Oh, we did. oh, that's right. We hammered back some of that tectonic. Yes. It's just a, nice. Just as, you know. Well, it's, it's like an annual thing. Now. Every time he shows yeah, up, yeah. he gets a little We ingest flavor. something. Yeah. Something, you know. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, Can you turn on the air, please? It I, just I, I, kicked on, but it went off again. Okay. So I want you to try this before we kind of get a little further into it. I, I would be enchanted. This is, this, is a, this is good stuff. Once it once it touches your lips. Oh. You know, there is one. Oh. There is one flavor. Okay. Oh. Now, up in the Northwest, they have an energy elixir called rain. Yes. But not like the rain is falling. But right. the R-E-I. The, I, yes. Yes. They went after bang because. Oh. There it is. Magic. <laughs> But they have a flavor that is very reminiscent of Orange Julius, if we recall. Do we remember Orange Julius I, from I the knew, mall back I in the day? Yeah, yes. he's, are, and that, you're not too young for Orange Orange no. Julius? He's like on the cutoff. They still yeah, exist. He's right there in the I've, I've seen. Yeah, They're yeah. in the mall. Yeah. Right, it's still on Orange Julius. It was a complete trip to the mall that way. But this, this flavor is basically, it's clearly modeled after that. And I, I find it very tasty. But the effect, I'm, I'm more for the effect. What if I told you that I have a ghost with the same flavor? You know, oh, I that's wa- right. It's not that one, but I no, yeah, it's not this I'm, one. I might go ghost. Mm-hmm. I might go ghost. So yeah, just enjoy and try. Oh, so this friend is refreshing. <laughs> just the, on the nose oh. there. The retro on this. Nobody else oh. heard that but him. Hammered it. Hammered it. Oh, yes. That's very nice. That's very tasty. It's very nice. Yes, you know. Oh. I, oh. Think, I think the taste was accentuated by this glass. And these fine graphics. Of course. You know how that I mean, works. Bands and, and the right. labels and always add flavor. Always add Obviously. Flavor. Without right. question. So, you've traveled across the, the oh, literally. US of A. Literally from, from one side from to the, the other. top left to the bottom right. True story. To the crooked penis stick. Yes, that's correct. And, that uh, is correct. You know, we were, we've kind of gently touched on the fact that everybody in the industry really had two years off. Right. Uh, when it comes to travel, like the travel Correct. was very, very minimal. And now things are already kind of gearing back up where it's very easy to get sucked back in to becoming the fucking, this road warrior per se. Right. But we've also kind of learned that being a, like, there's a line, life is a bell curve, right? Mm-hmm. And, you know, the line for road warrior esque isn't as much as it used to be. Correct. Right, if, if you so choose to take that path. Right. Mm-hmm. We. I mean, everybody goes their own way, but it's got to suck to fucking to you know. And you're making the most of this trip. You're doing. We're doing a thing here. You know. You obviously we're going to see Abe. Then you you know you have a uh, we'll plug everything. Well, you got the CI thing on Sunday with the gin tasting. That's correct in Tampa. The throat goat. Oh, the throat goat. They so, don't want that on the promo material, but that's what I call my tastings. Mm-hmm. Yes, the throat goat. Throat yeah, goat. the throat goat. 
And like part of you, you know, thank you. I would say the uh, part of you de definitely doesn't want to fucking leave at this point. Your family, correct? Right? It sucks. It does. It does, man. And look, you, you. On one hand, you will always and forever have to do what you got to do, right? Uh, to provide and and also build your business. But uh, you know, for me personally, and I can only speak for myself personally. Um, you know, this was a a time where I, you know, had the opportunity to evolve. Right. We worked smarter and harder simultaneously during that period of time to to become. I mean, I worked to be as effective as possible considering the circumstances, yeah, yeah. and th as a byproduct of that, found new and phenomenal ways to actually pilot our business. Sure, but even fuck all that. Like you had, I mean, your son was four when fuck it when right. COVID hits, right? Everything you just said, just fuck it. Correct. Because at the end of the day, business is I great. It was lovely. And, and, I look, it was very, it's very heartfelt. You did a good job. Look, Excellent job. at the end of the day, business is great. And being successful in business is, import is important. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not nearly as important as it is as family. Well, right? Yes. So figuring out that balance. So like, yeah. I'm, what I'm saying is like, all right, so COVID hits. Your kid's four. Grayson's four years old. Yes. Right? And holy shit, like now you have a lot of time for involvement with, with uh, a kid that's actually at the age where this is things get interesting, right? Yeah. Right. You know, and I would, I would have missed it 100%. Right. Right. And then, okay, so now we have two years of this. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, I'm, and I'm just kind of telling you from my experience, it's like, mm -hmm. I, and I don't fuck, I travel a fraction, mm -hmm. a fraction than what everybody else does in this industry, including yourself, right? So, but we went to fucking TBE, right? Right. Uh, and we went to Austin. And, and we went to fucking Austin. And then the and then, CA is coming and up. And now we're going to see Abe Dabba Dabba Dabba. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, yeah and then yeah. Eric Espinosa has invited us to La... Oh, Lazona Palooza. Lazona oh, Palooza. Mm -hmm. that. When's that? Right? March 24th, I believe. Oh, jeez. And I'm just kind of like... It's, it's like, like all hitting at one time. Right. And I fucking... Don't, and I, I'm sure you feel what? the same way. Excellent. I love going and, and seeing people and having like a good time. And, and, you know, it, it's obviously not like it's hell that you're doing it. But right. still, you don't, you know, a party is just like, oh, man, I'm going to, I just don't want to go. Like, I want to. Well, man, what's I mean, look, show, man, you know? this is like my stepdad says to me, Tom, shout out. Shout out, Big Tom. dog. He says, well, this is your job. Right. And I'm like, you are right. It's true. You it's are like right. when my kid says I hate school. I'm like, <laughs> Yeah. Well, okay. Right. Yeah. And it's, it, me too. Mm -hmm. I hate to, mm -hmm. I hate to travel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you're there and in the moment and you're in action, totally different. It, it's, it it's feels good. It's, it feels good. Be, right. And it's, and it's, uh, you know, for multiple reasons. One is because you feel like you're being productive. Right. Right. And building something right. and continuing to build something. And, and you're also seeing people, I mean, our, our industry is a community, right? So 100%. you're seeing people that you know, that you care yeah. for, you know, some that you don't, but you, most that right. you do, right? Yeah. And and having a great time. There's, yeah. a, I mean, there's a line of people at PCA trying to take a photo with him. Oh, we, we this witnessed. man. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. TPE. Look, I'm just, oh, that's right. TPE. Yes. But they have to, you can only take a picture. Now the policy, <laughs> 2020, I just, can we, can we also, we've announced yes. ghosts. Can we now? Sure. Of course. You like just your, the, your photo policy. The photo policy. The new man booth yeah. photo policy. Well, it's just, it's very simple. You can only take a photo with me if you promise that you will post that photo when I die. Yes. Okay. Because oh. I, I feel like that's the most the most important. And like you need to get an updated one after a couple of yeah, months, yeah. a couple I of mean, years. Hairstyles change, things change. Yeah. You know, you know. I'm gonna get yoked in the next like right, year. Yes. Oh, right. Yeah, so yeah. you're gonna want to. Which we will segue into. Uh, next. Is it gonna be like this? Which one? You <laughs> yes. know. Right. Oh, that was 2012. Yeah. I see. What you know, or whatever. So we went to the bougie gym this morning. Yes. Dope. Yes. Yes. And um, we ran through a couple things. You know. Yeah. Yeah, we we didn't. Uh, we only did about half of the workout, but did, you know, did all the people come up and talk to you also? Oh like, yes, oh, no, they no? did. Yes, ask Matt. Oh yes, yes, yeah. of course they. The, did. Ma the mayor was in the building. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> but you know, I will tell you this: it was kind of cool because I've never really brought anybody in with me. Right. Right. So we're at the front desk, and before we go, he's like, "Do I need my ID and stuff?" And I'm like, "I would assume so." Yeah. Yeah. You know? you show something. So we go in, and they're like. And he's like, do you want my ID? He's like, no, you're with him. I'm like, oh, okay. oh yeah, I had full it. rock star treatment. Like, yeah, like, oh, exactly. Like, like, you're all right. You're with the, you know. you're with the big guy. Mm -hmm. He's here every day. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. He moves the equipment around for us at but, the end of the day. But yeah, so it was really cool. And um, Jordan was there, uh, the Omas, the WWE guy. Who oh, the, always asked oh. me about my kids, you know. Oh, that's nice. So, you know, it's just like, and then, you know. Did you introduce Mr. Mr. Of course. Yeah. He walked away and I made him come back. Oh, very this good. This is my friend, Matt. Ah. We went by this really quickly here, you know. So yeah, 
Of course. We uh, we touched the chest. We did uh, we did the back. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? You feel okay, I feel right? great. Yeah. I feel good. great. I mean, quietly as it's kept, you know, I used to work out, you know, mm-hmm. pretty frequently. And I just, I kind of, I shifted to CrossFit. Then last year I was, I was out more than I was in because of some injuries, being sick, whatever. Right. And so I've been focused on going back, but also back to weights. And this was like, this is the wake up. This home. was the wake a hundred percent. This is it. A hundred percent. I mean, now, even if you do CrossFit every fucking day, it doesn't matter when mm-hmm. you come in and when you do that, you're going to get sore tomorrow regardless. Yeah. Right. I mean, if I take a week off from the gym and then I go work out, I get sore. Correct. Right. So you got to feel it. I, knew you could feel it. I mean, but he was a fun guy. Who was pushing himself. He yeah. wasn't. Yeah, he did was, a good he job, was, did he? Yeah, we had the sweat going. Yeah. Oh, I had a real workout. Yeah, it was very it was, nice. It was very legit. Yeah. Good, good for the good stuff. It was good stuff. Good. You want to come one day? No, no, I'm fine. You yeah. sure? I've I broken mean, you, things on uh, me and stuff that don't. Uh, that, Matt uh, held his own. I believe in you. Uh, I think I'm okay. It's a, it's not it's not what you think. What? He needs that Lululemon. He needs the Lululemon. That's the, that's yes. the, what's, what's the Lulu? Lululemon. I, oh, I, like want, some, I want some, a Lululemon. I'm just not sure what it is. That is the bougie gym outfits. Yeah. Oh. I wanted to do like cheetah tights or something. Right. You know? No, no spandex? And, and then, no, I, I didn't have time. And oh. I was like, man, what dope photos, obviously. Uh, no photos? Yeah. yeah, there was no photos. No, no, no photos. No, we don't know. No photos. I don't, I, no, when do I gym no, photo? in, no Instagram. Li- well, How? yes, but with the Mr. Booth, though, now. So I considered it. If, oh if I had God. the tights, then it would have been mandatory. That, there's an opportunity uh, yeah. there. And yeah. it would have been more for I the mean, visual. I mean, hair in the ponytail, sweat in the beard. It would have been a lovely photo. It's nice. The two of you flexing. Getting it. Getting it at the gym. Right. I yes. think you missed an opportunity here. Life-changing, man. It's possible. And thank you. It's possible, but it's kind of like my sanctuary. You know that's, what I mean? It's like well, my... Yeah, but I mean, you just don't tag the location. Even still. It's like, I don't want to share it with everybody. Uh, you know somebody I mean? will somebody see the machines and be like, oh, I know where they're Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, I know. And then, or, they're uh, then, they'll, then they'll be looking for you. Or, or you know, I think more along the lines for me is I don't want to hear advice from other people that I didn't uh, ask yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, even with Leo's picture today, LFD Leo. Yeah. There were people telling him like he was standing wrong or I mean, straighten your knees. You got to pump different. Right. Like, right. give me a fucking, you know what? Yeah. Like, stop. Just stop, you know? Like I was telling you, hey, we, what do you think of this? I'm like, no, how does it feel, right? Mm-hmm. If, it, if, yeah. if it feels better like this or we're like, don't mm-hmm. fucking do it. Right. Right? You know, there's some people that do squats that go all the way down, ass to the fucking ground, you know, or some stupid shit like that. I'm like, but that really doesn't make sense, at least in my wor- world. Right, like, for you it doesn't work. Like that I would hurt myself if I did that. Right. You know, I have short stubby legs. Yeah, <laughs> no, same, same. Right, at least, short, at least of, you don't skip Not like a lot of vert. No, you have those little. We did skip birds. it today. Well, you know, but you know, I still have yeah. things to do. Yeah, we, true. we had a limited limited, limited time, time. Mm-hmm. but yeah. it was still, you still. A, I mean, look, it was almost a two hour workout. It was an hour and forty minutes or something. Oh, a long time. It was nice, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm not used to having somebody with me. Right. So. But, uh, but it adds time and means you have to cut back on the things. Yes. 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 Certainly. So we have you stay. Reasonable. We have you staying with us at the crib. That's correct. You're with the family. Hey, what That's room correct. Did, who did you kick out of a room? Uh, the kids. Ah, I guess. Yeah. Uh. But you know, so when when Matt he's like, "Hey, I'll come crash your house. We'll spend, you know, get to hang out and bullshit right, right. more." Like, oh, all right, cool. That's awesome. But you know, I want to make sure that this is a good experience for Matt. Like, I feel like I'm under analysis at this point. Oh, right? oh he'll be talking. I'm, about I'm having an amazing yeah. experience. So I'm I'm I've, trying. I've to, rarely uh, been tended to like this. I'm in trying my life. to cover all bases. Did you, did you switch beds like in the middle of the night? There's two beds in the bedroom. No, no, I didn't. Jump from I one didn't. To the other? I didn't. Mm-hmm. But I felt very comfortable because there were some some Jurassic, uh, you know, some T Rexes <laughs> yeah, that yeah, we have at the crib right. for my son. Right. And he's like, "Hey, you want me to clean these toys out of the the tub for you?" I was like, "No, no, no, no. That's fine." <laughs> This, leave, the leave, leave the toys. Leave the it toys. makes me feel the, a little, yeah, you know, the submarines a little home, you know. Right. Everybody, you know, a little toys in the tub. A little tub. taste of home. Yeah, yeah. there's nothing yeah. wrong with that, you know. So, yeah, it's like, but, it's like, he's a very meticulous person. Like, even, w- whether you know it or not, he's paying attention to everything. Oh, no, no, right? no, yeah, you can tell. So, like, I'm walking in, right, and I, I, I'm, on, in, I'm in my flip-flops, and I always take my shoes off when I walk into my house. Right. Are we doing shoes off in the house? No, it's cool. You can come in. You know, whatever. Fuck it. Like, well, I mean, I want to be respectful. Right. Of you want to be polite and everything. I would say ninety percent of the people just walk right in. Right. They don't. Mm. They're not paying attention to that. Mm. You know. Well, I, we've passed that line. I don't. I used to take my shoes off, and I was like, I just got to put them yeah, back on. Palmer just takes his pants line. off. Yeah, he comes in. Right. It's, it's, yeah. it's a better approach. Yeah. Well, I have to run from the dog, so I need. need he's had, he was had he's had some issues with the dog. Oh, did you? Both dogs. Really? Oh no, you you. You, oh yeah, they yeah. They've feelings. been, they've yeah. been. I, I have, n- I have not had mixed feelings. I've right. been nothing yeah. but love. Right. But they, you know, I'm new in the house. Well, so you always yeah. lock the German Shepherd up when I come over. I, I do. Well, I let him go. I let him turn him loose mm-hmm. this morning. Ah, but yes. Um, even Chapo, El Chapo was like, mm, really? No. Oh. Yeah. 
See what I mean? Chapo's nose is up my ass every time I'm he's there. He's a fucking hugger. Like, oh, yeah. Chapo stands up and we hug. We're almost level. Yeah. He's, he's like right here on me. So you, come, just... you come back tonight. You're, yeah, you're yeah. at that level. It's, oh, you're yeah. here. Oh, oh you're, you're back. back. Oh, okay. I like this, man. He smells right. good. Oh, welcome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way he smells. And then you stand there and his nose goes up your ass. Mm-hmm. Ooh, hello. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think the road trip tomorrow is going to be very interesting. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. I've been be I've been looking forward to this trip, man, and a, and a great deal of that has to do with this whole smorgasbord of activity and interaction, right? Yeah, it's good. It's powerful stuff, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I mean, we fucking we we covered a lot last night. I mean, dude, we, we that should have been on the show. Well, not all of it. Yes, yeah. video, uh, so maybe not. It's a sensor. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know what I mean, like. I don't know. It's very seldom that you get to kind of have that uh, th- those kind of conversations. That's you know, right? Completely one, off yeah. the books. Nobody sees what's going on. Right? Where we just where we can discuss fucking everything for Anything, one, right? And for two, be completely mm. uninterrupted. Correct. Right. Yeah. You know, like I, lo- I dude, I lost track of time. Like it was yeah, like, fucking two oh thirty in the morning. I was like, oh, we're in the flow. Well, we're then flowing. Mm-hmm. We're in the flow. Mm-hmm. How did you normally sleep by then? So would I on the couch? Yeah. Well, he's normally sleeping on the couch, and Brittany entertains. Right. His lovely but wife. We've, but we actually had that conversation as well. Ah. What has fixed that? What has fixed that? Yeah. On, 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 you the drug test Brittany? has fixed that. The what? Test has fixed oh, that. Oh, yeah. the testosterone. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. I must visit this. Yeah. Right? Small doses. Nothing. nothing yeah, no, 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 no. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. No, nothing Shot in the pee-pee? Shot, no, I was waiting for it. <laughs> I thought that's how you were going to lead me with. When I said, you know, we've already discussed that, and then you were oh, in the session. said test, and I, but was, you didn't I quite, was holding. You didn't quite oh, get hello. that. Hello. This is my wife. Oh. Just put her on hey, the show. What's going on right now? Hello, we are podcasting. Okay. All right. So oh, yeah, that would be the appropriate time, I feel. Yes, yes. Okay. All right, love you. We have a lot going on today. We'll just we'll just set this up so yes. the kids can see. Uh, that's but it, great. Lean it up against the uh, lighter, and then it shoots all the lighters that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay. I just want everybody to you know, because some people don't watch or listen or whatever. They can figure out that they need to watch the. Well, uh, more more him, less me. <laughs> no, put it side. Well, you can't put it sideways because then it's going to be. Then everybody's cameras are. Mm. Oh, oh, not just me. Not just me. You can't. Move the can, though. The can, the can's the, it looks like we're all. It's boofy. Photo, photo boofy. bombing the can. Look at, uh, it's too much ceiling. That's now, serious. now, it's is the control. podcast called the Cigar Hustler podcast? It is yes. called a Cigar okay. Hustler's podcast. A Cigar Hustler's podcast. A Cigar Hustler's podcast. A Cigar Hustler's yes. podcast. So today we are on a Cigar Hustler's podcast. Yes. But you have to understand that you're talking into a mic. Yeah, they can't hear you. They can kind of hear. Yeah, yes. maybe. You're on, you're I on, think. You're on they, a Cigar Hustlers podcast. Can they hear? Does they, are they saying they can hear? Can you hear? Can you, can hear? you hear this? Can you hear me can now? You, oh, wait. Are we on? Are we on? Are, are we on? on, Jack? Are we on? Okay. Are is Jack Raji? So this is I'm good. I'm watching. The, you have no pants on. <laughs> oh. Well, none of us. Not correct. that kind of show. Not that kind of show. Oh, it always is that kind of show. Yes. Right? So this way, these kids can discover. It's just a, you know. It's an introductory to the the podcast, the mm-hmm. cigar hus- of the cigar hustler with the bad ceiling up top here. Look at this. They're not. That's very. That's not really not in the shot. It? It's not in the shot. It's, it's in the shot. At least it's red. Let me see. Let me see. We'll get closer. We should talk about something provocative. Oh, we already said we had no pants. Well, tell us. Tell me what what what, what would you like to discuss now that we well, are. Well, did you have did you have any schedule of topics here that you want? I mean, I feel like we need to shift gears to something provocative. Hmm. Mm. I mean, you were you were kind of going down the road of some industry related stuff, right? Yes. Which I think is intriguing. Yes. And I mean, we're all participating in this like real time experiment with each other, right? This life changing event, indeed, has, has caused all these changes in movement. Yes. And and approach to life, business, etc. Yes, the industry has definitely shifted. Yeah. There's been a paradigm shift. Things have definitely changed significantly. Right. I would agree. And t- to a point where. You don't have to. You don't. Ha- you don't have to take a piece of your life, like a, a huge fragment of your life, and lose it to the road, right? Correct. You can. You can lose some of it to the road and still have. It's. It's like they've discovered technology, right? It's like, like oh, sudden, we can FaceTime in. Yeah. You know, oh, cigar. Yeah. Or cigars have technology. Right. Now. Look at this. We can discuss this on so many different platforms. These Zoom things right? and. 
Well, I, I would just like to add, my, my cigars do uh, have technology. Yes, they do. Uh, inter- absolutely. Bluetooth. I like uh, the, uh, no, that's uh, coming. Uh, the Bluetooth <laughs> is coming. Bluetooth, Bluetooth is coming. Uh, Bluetooth uh, smoking experience. But, yeah. you know, nice. I always I always tell my retail partners that, you know, they have uh, shelf-resistant technologies. Shelf-resistant? Shelf, shelf-resistant. They won't stay on the they shelf. They don't stay. Well, they don't stay, yeah, right. because so many so many uh, people I've dealt with, I, we come to this point where we're having this conversation, we, we engage in business, and then the conversation comes like, hey, these, you know, they're not, like selling themselves independently of any uh, effort, right. right? Right. And I say, well, they have to get enough sunlight, right, or 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 some sort of direct light, some kind of sunlight. for the for the solar, right? Because we can't battery uh, power, which makes things. sense, right? And right, but then, then the shelf resistant technologies will kick in, so you have to put them in a a, a nice place, right? Uh, a, a, the, a place there, highly visible. We need proper lighting, yeah, proper lighting yes. to engage the technology. So what you're saying is, if you put cigars in a dark corner in the bottom left area and uh, like under other boxes there's a also there's a significant chance that they may not resist the shelves that no one oh, that would, would see them right or resist yeah. the shelves and resist the shelves right resist correct the shelves. yeah so so our shelf resistant technologies activate and yeah. basically the cigars automatically leave the the boxes and right then exchange the exchange monetary units and then they they float out the door with uh you know the consumers i like that yeah. Do you want to tell them that what we're that we're doing stuff more? Do you want to drop a little fucking egg to them or no? I mean, it's like I mean, it's we, we can drop eggs, man. We can drop eggs. We're we're we're, 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 we're basically, working on something. Yeah, we are working. Yeah, on something. which we're, I just overheard. He was so upset. He was keeping secrets from me. I, you don't. Why tell, would you do that? I wasn't. Pump, no. Why would you do that you know, to Pump? Because right. why would you do it that just to seems me? Like unbelievable. I, it did, I, you know, I apologize. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't. I, I didn't I'm think, sorry too. You know. Oof. You know what? Here's the thing. Like we we go. Like we run. It's true. You know what I mean? We we have we have had a mm-hmm. one already mm-hmm. and it fucking it went. We rocked it. It went oh, yeah. very, very, very well. You know? So of course we repeat. We of do course. let's do well, more. Certainly. Yeah. I figured right. eventually, right. but I just didn't know it was already well, going. You know. You know, I mean, you know, I mean, what do you want to do? We're still Now's working on this one and then you I are, didn't know there was yeah. we already had the next one. You know one what and, the best cigar is? The next one. The fucking next one. I understand, but right? I, I was not aware you had already started the another the fucking one. Next. Now, you can't talk about it too much, though, because they might get bored of it before it happens. Oh, that's it. This is all yeah, we, where we leave yeah, it at. We but there, okay. There's more to come. Yeah. Yes. We will let the 25 viewers know. Oh, ooh, there's only uh, 25. Abe, Abe is on. Oh. Abe Froman. Oh. Embargo. I th- well, that's nice, too, but nice. I thought you meant the other Abe. I no, was no. going to tell him we'll see him tomorrow. It's, it's yeah. a work day. That's why there's not that many people on there. Indeed. Unbelievable. They can see it later. Yeah. It's fine. I don't know that they I'm can. At least they, even if there was the one. doesn't matter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? But yeah. Something new, is, something new is always coming, right? Mm-hmm. You can't fucking... I could... It, especially in this industry. Like, you could say, hey, I want to make a cigar. Right. And if you don't fucking start working on it right away, you know, you're fucked two years. Well, right. 18 yeah. months, men. You right? must take action. Right. So if you... St- if, like, we started putting this together... Right after the last one dropped, hey, let's you know, let's work on some other projects. Oh. Okay, well, what are you thinking? Well, Here's what I'm thinking. Blah blah. blah. We have back and forth, time. back and forth, back and forth. Okay, what's the band? What's the name? We're not going to tell you. You're going to fucking find out. You know, and we're like we're it's slowly getting pieced together. And right. even once it's all kind of formulated, then it's fucking hurry up and wait. Mm-hmm. Right, especially in this industry. Yeah. Especially in this industry, Ugh. it's just fucking. You sit around. I mean, how long we went on PD- VDP? Uh, been a long time. And we fucking green. I, let's do this. Right. Right. Hey. Okay. I love. You know what? Fuck. This is a great cigar. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's let's do this. The right. cigar gods say two point five years for that. Thank you. Right. Two point five. <laughs> right. Two point five. Two point five. Yeah. yeah. It's like son of a bitch. So yeah, I don't like oh, to. It's taking two weeks just to get the bands from here to there. Right. Yeah. And then they got to put them on. Right. And then if it's the weekend, they're taking off. And then it's gonna come no, back. No. Oh, holiday. Oh no. Oh, holiday. Yeah. Especially, especially the Nika man, they right. you know, they got a lot. There's a lot of paid time off. I'm kind of uh, a little jealous of that, just just a little well, bit. Just but then I realized uh, that I have AC in every right. single you, building that plumbing. I live in. Yes, and indoor plumbing, yeah. cable, water that I can drink. Floor, <laughs> right. right? Floor is floors. nice. Wife, oh yeah, floors are nice. I like yeah. floors. They're very important floors. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, all right, you can have the time off. Right. Fair trade, I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can get medicine if I need it. You can get medicine there. It's no problem. Yeah. Uh, probably not as good. Oh, someone said BDP. Oh, oh. It's, it's Yogi. Uh, my friend. Of course it's Yogi. My friend. So, um, Hi, Yogi. Yeah, so we're working on that. You know, it's um, 
it's kind of remarkable with the whole this whole fucking approach is what we're doing with the personal lounge and having you kind of yeah. come down. I'm trying to contain you, right? I don't. It's probably a good idea. You know, like we put in, in, the, in the one we were room. Saying sequestered. With a sequestered. small area of protected, yeah. where you're protected, right? but it's more exposure to those people that enter, right? I mean, indeed, they're, right. they're right. heavily exposed. Because I think that what happens is it's very well, easy for more intimate, right? Because you know everybody wants to talk to you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, I, 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 I left TPE upset. You know, I broke your balls oh, for yeah. several days. I know. And this was the return. I was like, I, I'm, now we hang out. Now you, yeah. Right. Oh, right. uh, now yeah. you're getting all this one on one time. Yeah, that's uh, what we're talking to the gym. Oh, ne next next time, next trade show though, you're gonna get your feelings hurt I again. I feel like if TPE didn't go down the way it did, we probably wouldn't have wound up at the gym today. Oh, you know, uh, maybe oh, it's possible. Nice. There was He's there giving, was a lingering sense that there was not enough time spent. Yes, He's you know, that you it was a miss. Time. Yes, it was a special miss. Special Matt Booth time. This is good. Yeah, I like yes. this. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Next trade See? show, though. Then you really hurt you because you're gonna think we spent all that time together. I'll get to spend more time with him at trade show. Trade show. Nope. Photos. Hold my camera. Hold the camera oh, for me, Michael. Hold the camera. But that you know, that's the time and the opportunity to do those things, right? right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll guilt him later, though. Yeah. Of yeah. Course. Of course, it's, it's uh, appropriate. Right. right. I won't break your balls about fucking discounts and fucking and and special LEs and all this other bullshit. Yeah. I will say. Oh, you know what? You didn't hold my hand enough. <laughs> Be careful what you ask for. Justin's in the Dominican. Be careful what you ask. Justin for. is in the Domin you know, Dominican. He is because I already asked him if his phone works down there. Oh. You want to try? You want me to call him real quick? See if he answers and tell him we're having lunch with Matt Booth because, you know, that was one thing that he missed out at the trade show. Oh, he was supposed to be with Mr. Booth. amazing. You're right. Yes. Uh-oh. He's not going to answer. Probably not. There's no he's... fucking way he answers. Uh, maybe, but we will call maybe him. No, they're not back. I guess Fred Rui's not back. Let yet. me see. Because last night was the white, the white party. That's the big one. Yeah, that was the big one last night. Mm -hmm. What's the big gala? Yes. The the how many of them are running back to the, it won't let me connect. So, um, I'm oh, going to hit the button. Okay. You hit the button. Uh, the button, this button. Okay. You ready? I hit the button. Oh, are you infusing your phone line to the show? To, yes. Whoa. Oh, and yeah. oh, oh, that's gone now. Oh, were you already connected? No. All right, now go. What's Mevo J two, three. Oh, there it is. No, I don't know. What you, oh, Mevo is the camera. Don't, uh, Lord, don't connect to the camera. Oh, I'm going to connect that. And the camera goes off. All right. Let's call Justin Andrews of STG. Oh, uh, you connected. You connected to the camera. No, it's okay. It's still a red light, but it, yeah, disconnected from the iPad. I didn't connect though. Oh, okay. I promise. Now I think it's important. Yes. That you understand. Well, he has a code name. He does. Oh, look at that oh, that beautiful like international, that international ring. Look at that. Yes. <gasps> oh. Bro. Oh. No minutes. <laughs> You Five know, more minutes. You think that STG would kind of have that covered? I mean, he's you the face of a, diesel. Where's the minutes? Have a phone you know, that worked for internationally. Fuck's sake! I mean, it is 2022 for God's sake. Ridiculous. They have their own satellite. Upgrade your that's phone. Fucking insane! You know? Wow, that's embarrassing for mm. me. Mm. I can see why you skipped out on lunch with him. I can understand. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, it makes, it, yeah, totally no. makes sense. I now. mean, you call me internationally, I answer. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Sorry. Same, right? Same, same. Just the standard ring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not even a different. Yeah, room. I wonder if that was like a pitch he had for like you know his girlfriend or something. Like, oh, you're not gonna be able to get in touch with me. Oh, uh, mm, good. Really. <laughs> Don't blow up his spot. <laughs> yeah, oh, she, she doesn't listen because she's an avid listener. <laughs> right. Yeah. You never know. She's at Home Depot getting the lumber. Well, hey, you know, come correct, Justin. All right, Justin. Or I will destroy your relationship. <laughs> oh, Damn. What, mean? <laughs> what else are we talking about? We're at thirty. We're at Thirty-three minutes already. Greg's out there looking at his watch. <laughs> He's like, son of a bitch. I told him he couldn't do 30 minutes. So, so yeah, I told you how that worked. Though. Like, I just needed to get him in the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, fuck, you know, right. fuck the rest of the time. You know, right. it is what it is. It's not like he listens either. So, what else you want to cover? I hear him yelling at people out there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, hmm. I, I don't know what all you guys have talked about or what you want to talk about. Or Well, I think that a lot of things on the, you know, first of all, I think that a lot of the conversations that we have are, are, are Patreon shit. It's not... Well, we could shift gears. Mm. No, no time. I don't think so. Yeah, we're kind of right. running. He's got to go do. He's going to go see somebody. So. Ah, um, but you know, we still have a few more minutes if you want to cover anything else. Keanu's here. Keanu loves you. If I if, told him what gym you were at, and he was going to go, but I couldn't talk him into it. I thought that would have been hilarious. He creepy text me. He told me he did last night, and yeah. I didn't. I, I said he goes, you, you "Hey, didn't him. he goes, hey, if you're you know tomorrow, if you want me to come with you to get Matt Booth, I just text back, I have him." And then he texts me. Fucking, this is where I no longer engage. I will. I will. Uh, 
Oh, you, you disconnect. Disconnect. Oh, clickety clack. Sorry, I, I went silent. Oh, disconnect. I said I have him. So he sends dot 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 dot. dot. Then he sends send coordinates. Then he sends JK JK. He wanted to come hang out at your house. And then he sends unless with the fucking eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and I just no fucking response. Right. I'm like, oh. Okay. He would have been in the other bed in the bedroom with Mr. Like, Booth. Hey. <laughs> hey, Matt. Hey, Matt, are you okay over there in the other bunk? Are you Sup, good? Bro. You're fine? I just think it's, I think it's very unique, man. I, th I have expressed, and this is as it applies to us, but this has, I think, significance for a lot of... Um, not only newcomers to the game, but just guys that are not, um, I mean, I've been in the business uh, 14 years from the factory level, 13 in market, right? Yeah. So still, That's, you know, younger right. than many in the game, right? Yeah, but you know, when you hit that decade point, you're like, Christ, I've been yeah. doing this, like the time flies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know and in I mean? cigar years, you're basically 100 at that point. Right. Yeah, I've been in the business 100 years. 100 years. Yeah, basically. And, and, and it's, it's abusive. It can be. <laughs> Thrashing. The thrashing, the thrashing is real, thrashing. but I, I I think it's I think it's really inspiring to see all these new channels opening up, right? And right. because of I think fueled by the entrepreneurial spirit, right? Yeah, and and the 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 undying will, right, to right. to build, right, in spite of and you could fill in the blank, right, myriad of challenges, especially for a newcomer in the game, right, mm -hmm. that guys like yourself. Are, are blazing new pathways to consumers' mouths right. effectively, right? That did not yeah. exist when I came into the business. Right. It was like this, you know, bend the knee to the top retailers type of a fucking scenario where this is who you, you know, we, we are the gatekeepers and the controllers, and, mm -hmm. and that has definitely shifted. Yeah. Tremendously. Agreed. You have these mid-level retailers that do a great job presenting themselves on social media and online and stuff like that. And they can make an honest living and then yeah. they can help establish and build brands as well. Correct. And those are the people that we like to fuck with. 100. You know, um, without question. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, I think it's never been, I mean, I remember coming into the business and it was a very exciting time. And, and in years to follow, I referred to that time period as, as the golden era of the boutique brands, right? Mm -hmm. This is when this, really came into the forefront and you know un unbeknownst i think to a great deal of us including myself at the time you know because we were just trying to build our businesses build our brands but we were effectively as a group carving out a new segment of this market right globally really you know you know what's really kind of funny is you know you hear you know you're doing something right when you hear fucking uh like undertone threatening stories from other reps of older brands and shit like that and they're like I've heard occasionally drop like, well, you know, if FDA comes in, mm -hmm. you know what? I mean, then you got nothing, you know? And it's like, oh, okay, I got nothing. And then, and then, you know, 10 minutes later, here is my new cigar that we are representing. I'm like, but wait a second. Wait, hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. So are we worried about what? Like, are you just worried for me? You're trying to fucking. They're very what? concerned right. for you, I, obviously. Right. Yeah. I important. appreciate their concern for my yeah. well-being. As as do I. You know? <laughs> Tremendously. I mean, it's, it's very, Thanks, it's very thoughtful. It's very yeah. thoughtful, yeah. you know? <laughs> um, and it is definitely interesting to see a lot of those um, brand owners and manufacturers think that they want to big, uh, build bigger fucking booths at TPE and just mm. completely do exactly what they did at PCA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fucking remarkable. Makes no sense whatsoever. We're going to make it bigger. Fucking bigger. Go big, go home. Go big or go or home. Or something. Fucking, well, we're all, yeah, we we'll go home. <laughs> we go. I think, I think that when we started, and this again is just my own personal opinion and maybe people would chime in on this, but I think that when we were picking up steam and I, when I say we, I mean, we with room 101 and, and other guys kind of in that sector, right? right. In, in what was considered the boutique sector at the time. I think that if I was to guess, I would say that a lot of the bigger companies, a lot of the larger companies just viewed us as an annoyance right. that was going right. to go like away. Oh, little, 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 this, yeah. This is like a, just don't pay attention. Yeah. He'll go. He'll this is a little fad. These guys are going to be in and out the door in a couple right. of years. This skulls. Is, yeah. yeah. Skulls. Skulls. Right. Skulls. This is fucking skulls. Skulls. What's it's, that on there's a guy? It's nonsense. And then, and then, you know, you fast forward years and they're actually creating, um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say <laughs> plagiarized versions. I'm going to say creating tribute, uh, 
right. products that are tribute. They to, have uh, the Big right. Mac. We have the Big Mick. Yes, exactly, yes. Right. exactly. They have the totally Golden different. Arches. And, we have and, the Golden Arcs. And that's when, and that's when you realize, like, oh, we actually changed the game. Right. And and oh. and not individually. I mean, right. as a, as a as collective, a as a whole as a unit. collective. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. as as a movement and and that has continued not only to flourish but evolve because now if you look at what the boutique segment looks like or or whatever fucking word you right. by, and by the way room 101 is the industry's only salon brand I want salon to make brand. Oh, we've that's been nice. we've been the industry's only salon brand out of the gate uh, for several years several years yeah and so you know some people went boutique i went salon you know thus I far like that. thus far no one has followed me yeah you, you can know. get a perm yeah for you sure know. yeah but uh, I got off topic. I was. It, there's no sound on Instagram right. Live. I was just told. There's no sound. That's okay. That's okay. Just, just watch. What happened to the audio? Well, I need to hear you saying, but I hear nothing. All I right. don't know how to do that. Okay, bye. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> Where? As long as you stop for me. Take a take a photo for me of um, me and Matt Booth. Oh wait, okay. Danielle's gone. No, I'm not talking to you, Danielle. And now, here, as we're talking. Yeah, this with, is with the, over. With the, gear. with the gear. Oh, as we work. Excellent. So, well, you know, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. You know, the other thing that's really, I think, that's, that's going to fucking happen is we're about to hit a turning point where you're going to see, I feel like some new ones popped up and, you know, the reality of how hard and how much work this is. Correct. You're going to see another, like a purge. Of course. Of this, like we're at that cyclical point mm -hmm. where, whatever happened to that guy? Like, I have oh, lived through oh, that yeah, some already. Of the smaller, right. Some of the smaller yeah. brands it's, will just sort of. Mm -hmm. Right, we're coming back full circle. Correct. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, oh, uh, where, where'd he go? Like, right. oh, I'm fucking, uh, hmm. he just, you know, mm, I think, and you know what the funny part is that you don't really recognize it until you're over halfway through it. Correct. You know? And that conversation's already kind of popping up. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, look, this yeah, is, if that was an era of boutique brands, this is an era of throwaway brands, mm -hmm. right? Like there's, it's, the attention span is shorter and right. it's one and done, like quick hit type stuff. Right, right. And that is also going to cycle, you know? Right. And fatigue, right? And, right. and, and, and some will, will survive. Fatigue. Some will survive and evolve and become maybe something more than they started as and right. so on and so forth. And I think, I think the real threat, if it exists, right, if I may be so bold. Please. May I? Don't hold back. Okay, I will not. I will Excellent. not restrain myself. Excellent. Well, I've always said one of the main differences in the alcohol space versus the tobacco space is that these much larger companies have long since respected and identified the fact that smaller craft brands are, are really the creators, right? So mm -hmm. the large houses have long since, I think, um, accepted the fact that they are not the creative driving force in the business. Right. They just right. simply are the dominating force in the business. Right. They are the machine. Right. So this is why they absorb and acquire these the smaller brands. The right. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. right. And put their machine behind them and empower them right. to go out into market with the with the full force of, of their machine behind them. And I think that the first juggernaut, right, in this business that actually gets over I mean, I guess themselves in right. some way, right? That uh, and they actually place value on the creatives and on on these craft creators, right? And and then choose to form intelligent partnerships with them to empower those brands. Mm -hmm. I think that will be an unstoppable force. You're a hundred percent correct. I believe if that, if that occurs, if that occurs, I think that that does occur. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, it is. It would make sense in terms of the timeline and what effectively would be the next. The next move step. on the chessboard because right. we've long since been identified that we are a far not an, an annoyance right. right and that collectively we occupy a very respectable amount of market share right that used to be all theirs right similarly guys like you in the retail space that are creating these new channels are also creating your own cutaway right, right in in that segment of the market as well right so in essence, it's kind of like, hey, buy the company, give me salary, access to tobacco, we move forward together. And, and you know, the, the killer will be the ones that don't allow their larger company politic and to get in the way of these people operating the way that they do, right? right? If right. they can actually create... Right. Give, give, them the, shit, yeah. give them the free reign that they need to keep creating and, mm -hmm. and doing new things. Yeah, yeah. If, you put, if you put fucking parameters on, on, you know, you fucking 
put a line in the cage, and then we're, we're right. all good. You can't put a leash on a rattlesnake. Right. You can't right. do it. Oh. You can't do it. Oh. I mean, you can, but you it sure? doesn't work out. Oh, God. Yeah, it's got to be can. like a stiff leash. Like a Something. stick. And then they can't operate. Then they can't move around. They can't, can't, around. Like, yeah, they they can't be effective. That. Right. And what's the point? Now you have a pet. You have a toy. A pet rattlesnake. Right. Like if they buy you and go, okay, we don't really like the Polish thing. You're because with what's going on over there. We're going to change the name. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of the Polish thing. Yeah. We're just not going to go with that anymore. We're going to make you Swedish. Or, Everybody you know, likes the Swedes. Make I'd say, Swedish. but can you get us access to small arms and explosives? <laughs> right. That's totally fine. <laughs> right, exactly. I mean, I'm you just asking. This work is, is, yes, it's very good. I'm just asking. Yeah, so that's, I mean, whatever. For whatever that's it's worth, good. a little fodder for the Holy brain. Shit. Maybe no, people that's think about fucking, that. Yeah. You know, but that's going to take, that's going to take executive level players that are willing to step outside because they themselves, even as larger companies, executives will actually effectively be almost rebelling or right boundary breaking from what you know is right we operate within this box this is our company politic this right. is our company philosophy and some of the ways that we've all achieved some and i don't want to be so bold as to say some level of success i don't want to abuse the word success in the conversation right. but that we've been it able still is the cigar industry correct thank you <laughs> <laughs> thank you but but you know f there are things that we have done and and methods that we have employed that that uh, they clearly would not Right. Right? It would be out, outside of the boundaries of how they normally operate, I think. So do you think that that happens when... Unorthodox. Perhaps. Right. So does that happen when companies are no longer like at the capacity, right? Like if, hey, all right, so we want to have another 15% growth this year. Looks like we're kind of struggling. They, they finish off the year 6% up, 5% up. And they're like, okay, so what's the next step? And then someone says, well... Well, we could buy this little boutique company. The number is X... Mm -hmm. right. This is what they're producing. Mm -hmm. We stroke this check. We have growth. We continue. Uh, EBITDA. 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 More EBITDA. Well, I mean, look, if you imagine EBITDA. these smaller, more nimble operators, if they're allowed to continue that way, they're effectively going to become these companies' special forces, right? They're the guys that go out yeah. and operate differently. They have a, a different set of rules or less rules that they play by right to enable them to do what they have to do to get their job done right which is not the big machines mission the big machines mission is almost separated but the big machines mission is also to empower them and support them right in any way that they whatever can you to ensure right. their success yes you need the bands we it won't be eight months it'll be two weeks yeah. and <laughs> if if everyone is playing you know also you're talking about this growth well how are you going to continue i mean some of these guys even at the at the top of the food chain their their factories are bursting at the seams with right. uh, you know they're continuously extending timelines like production is peak they're they're you know so also to embrace partnerships with guys that either have uh, factories or or have working relationships with viable factories right. that they can that could manage that there you go take alleviate some of that there you go take some of the pressure off and by the way that oh. would continue to keep that entity authentic to itself right instead of just saying okay just bring it all here and we'll put your pretty paper pictures on our stuff right. and then you know because that then deletes Everything right. that that person is keep built. producing. Actually, right. you don't need to grow in production for your brand, but you need to alleviate what's going on here and fill that void. As as our new, you know, extended or whatever the fuck, right. mm -hmm. our mm -hmm. uh, acquisition, the new acqu the EBITDA increaser. Yeah, right. EBITDA assassin. EBITDA assassin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. anyways, I, like I think I see that as the next. Yeah, if if. if you know, if, you know, fill in the blank, certain things, certain dominoes fall in a certain way. Right. I think that that makes sense. I think that this is where we need to leave this podcast. I was thinking the same thing. Right the, fucking here. Yes. Boop. I just turned it off. like, that is fucking brilliant. That is fucking brilliant. I mean, I would say mic drop, but I, this is a beautiful piece of equipment. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I'm, I'm not going to do it. But I totally agree with you 100%, and I never really considered that, mm -hmm. you know? So it's going to be, it, the next coming years... In the cigar industry, you're going to be quite interesting. I think. To see who goes where. Mm -hmm. oh. Mm. oh. Do you have foreshadowing sound effects? You have something like... The do -do 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 -do, maybe that one, the creepy, yes, yes, one? The creepy one? Kind of horror yeah. movie, but, you know, <laughs> it might be a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I have a football game to run to. You have a friend to go see. We have an event going on tonight. Yes, we have very, very we have busy. road to to, uh, to take on tomorrow to go and hang out with Abe at the Great Smoke. True story. And yeah. uh, you know, so let's. Uh, going on? All right, uh, let's end it at that. Perfect. Let's end All it right. at that. Thank you, Mr. Booth.
Thank you guys very much. Yes. Right. Thanks. Thank you for coming on. It's My here. pleasure, man. <laughs>